Hi, everybody. Welcome. Thank you so much, Tina from the Agent Kickstart program. Today, I'm so excited. I have a very special guest who is near and dear to my heart, Gayla Hyatt. Yay! Oh, thank you. Um, I'm going to brag about Gayla for a little bit. Gayla is amazing. She is the co-owner and team leader of the Hyatt Group. In they serve the Kansas City metro area and have been in business for over 20 years. So same as me. Yeah. Um, um, so we're going to provide um, Gayla's information so that if you have a referral for her, that you're able to easily find her. So, and she's amazing. I can attest to that. Oh, thank you. Aww. Well, thanks so much for being here today. Just kind of wanted to, so Gayla and I had talked about how she was using Agent Kickstart to build and train her team. And so I just wanted her to share some of her insight with us and maybe give some tips that other people could use. So tell us a little bit about that. Yes. Yeah, so um, we started using Agent Kickstart. We heard about Agent Kickstart through our market center. Um, I attended a training that our team leader presented to us and um, was super excited to, to start the program as we were onboarding new agents. Um, we felt like as we initially were onboarding agents, it was just super time consuming. And what we were finding was that we would onboard a lot of agents and really 70% of them didn't hold. And we were spending a tremendous amount of time and team resources and money onboarding people that really probably never should have gotten into real estate in the first place. Perfect. And so, um, yeah, using Agent Kickstart has transformed that process for us. Awesome. So you've cut, so you've cut down your time that you're spending with them, and then how how quickly do you get them through the program? So how quickly do, well, two questions here. How quickly do you get them through the program and how quickly do they vet themselves within the program? Right. So, um, so our process is that, we, so we take them through, we do have a, a pretty detailed layered process um, when we go through hiring. And so, um, so once they get through the hiring process, we feel like they're going to be a good fit for the role and a good fit for our team. Then the next step is that they go through Agent Kickstart. And Agent Kickstart, um, we tell them that we expect them to get through this in, within two weeks. That's that's our deadline because we don't want. When we first started it, we realized they could get stuck in the database section for two months. Yeah. Um, and so, so we, our expectation is that they finish that in two weeks. And we also tell them that they are not officially onboarded onto our team until they have completed Agent Kickstart. And that does a couple of things for us. Number one, it lays a great foundation for them. Um, they come in with a database. And um, number two, can they follow instructions? Um, in Agent Kickstart, if they're following it the way the program is designed, I mean, you know, you, you tell them right there in Agent Kickstart, okay, your team leader is not going to come to you to set these appointments. You need to go to your team leader and set an appointment for X. Uh, you need to reach out to a title company and ask them these questions. You need to schedule an appointment with a lender. So I know as they're, I'm kind of tracking as they're going through, have they reached out to me for the appointment? Have they, have they had a conversation with me about who are our preferred lenders? Or, you know, or have they set up an appointment with a lender? And so we're, we're tracking to see if they can follow instruction. I love that. Cause that was so intentional when I put that in there is because yes. I really wanted them to intentionally start learning how to set appointments and how to be respectful of you as the team leader's schedule. Yes. So that was always at your door. <laughs> that, that was huge. That was huge. And what I've noticed is like, e even today, you know, we just had, um, you know, our call time with our agents, we just wrapped it up. And because of the process of agent kickstart, they understand that they don't just like walk in and expect me to do something for them right now. They, they are coming in and saying, as a result of their call time, I need to get on your schedule because I have a CMA I need to provide. I need to get on your schedule because I need to do 
X. And so, so it's just setting up the expectation for how this process is going to look. The bigger thing is, is their database. So that, that's been the most amazing thing to me is that prior to Agent Kickstart, we would have agents join the team. The expectation is that at a minimum, they come in day one with 100 contacts in their database. Uh, consistently, our, um, our listing and marketing manager was working months to get them to get a any kind of database together to call. Here's the difference. Where we couldn't get people to get 100 people in their database, um, my newest agent, I just looked at his database this morning, 549 contacts in his database. And on average, um, the, the two that went through the program before him, both of them came into the, came when they onboarded, they both had about 330 to 350 people in their database, where, where before we couldn't even get them to 100. And so... So that's a huge difference. So, so when they're in their call time, you know, their first part of their call sessions are contacting their database and letting them know they've gotten into real estate. They have the script that they receive through Agent Kickstart. They have their their database. And yeah. Awesome. So plug and play. Yay. And I just want to tell you how much I appreciate that you let the system work how it's intended to work. Because oh, so many times I hear agents dragging agents along. And I'm like, if you're dragging them through this, you're going to drag them through their entire career. Well, so. yeah. And that's honest, honestly, so that that has been a learned process because what I realized is um I've had a lot, so many agents that I just wanted their success more than they did. And um, that's that's the hardest thing about my role uh, running a team is, you know, I, I love everyone. And sometimes I just really honestly want their success more than they do. And the reality is, is we're in a hard business. We're in sales and you've you've got to want it. I love that so much. So that's like the curse of the CEO of a team, right? Because we yeah. we always see the the talent in everyone and we think we can bring it out in everyone. Yeah. And we typically always do want it more than they do because we're so yeah. driven, I think. Yeah. So I love that. Thanks for sharing that. Okay. So I'm gonna switch gears a little bit. So what is your superpower? What's your the thing that you think you that you know, not think, that you know you do the best? Boy, it's so funny. I have been asked that several times recently, and it, it was a hard question for me to answer. And now that I've had to think, been forced to think about it a little bit, I think what my superpower is, is I have the ability to maybe see a, a bird's eye view of something and then break it down into chunks um, it, so, so that the, the picture can be accomplished. So, so break the steps down into chunks. Oh, and that then... is for sure a superpower. <laughs> that is, that is a huge superpower. I love that so much. Sometimes, it, and it all comes down to dis discipline. Sometimes I'm more disciplined in times of my life than others. Well, I think we can all relate to that <laughs> for sure. <laughs> okay. Before I let you go, we have to have the fun fact. What's one thing that you can share with, you can share with us <laughs> safely. That, that, I, uh, that is okay. That is that I can share with you. Um, let's see a fun, fun fact. Well, a fun fact, I, I think it's crazy because I, I can't hardly believe it. I, I am the mom to three amazing humans and I am the Gigi to seven. So. And it, when I say that, it makes me sound like I'm 123. I'm yeah, not but yet. We're, we're looking at you right now and we know you're not. You're a hot Gigi. You should have oh. you should have them add hot Gigi to the beginning. There you <laughs> that go. That should be your <laughs> hot Gigi. Hot Gigi. I'll, I'll tell them now. I'll, I'll see how that goes over with my I kids. I think you should. <laughs> that is a fun fact. Oh, I didn't know that about you. And that's crazy. Well, that's oh, That is cool. crazy. They're that's multiplying like rabbits. <laughs> I'm sure they keep you on your toes too. They do. It's the, it's the best part. Aw. 
Well, thank you so much for your time today. I respect and admire you so much. So for you to take time out of your busy day to do this, I, I can't thank you enough. So. Oh, thanks, Tina. I'm, I'm so thrilled with your program. So I, I, I am absolutely thrilled to, to promote it, encourage it because it has been, it's really been a game changer for us. Oh, good. I'm glad. And I hope it continues to be so, and we'll continue to make sure we stay on point for you. So thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Bye everybody. Thank you. See ya.